Ladies and gentlemen, my name is In The Game Kaya, and welcome to ITGK Survives. In this series, I will be playing through a cluster of arc maps, both story arcs and player arcs. I will be attempting to tame every creature, clear every cave, collect every artifact, collect every explorer's note, and defeat every boss in a quest to become the ultimate arc survivor. Without further ado, let's get into the episode. This will actually be the first time I have ever cluster transferred in ASA. The game's been out for almost a year. October 30th is a year the game's been out. And it's the first time you what? Cluster transfer. Oh. And just like that, we are on the island. Yeah, when you transfer... It'll say, hey, you have a character on this server already. Do you want to overwrite? And you just hit yes. Okay. Oh, is this your guys' house already? The one that's half broken or the wood one? Um. Well, it's made out of wood. I see dinos. Yep, that's the one. Yep. Wow, look at all the sharks. There must be something in the water. So where are you guys then? Well, I'm just down the beach. Female alpha megalodon. Ah. Oh. Uh, well, no, I'm... no matter how much I try, I cannot escape the island. I know. Jim loves the island. I love the island too, but I've, I'm I'm almost done. I feel like I'm almost done with it on my. I don't know if you watch my YouTube videos, Steph, but I'm almost done playing through the island by myself. Oh, wow. I haven't. I should look it up, though. That would be helpful. <laughs> Are you talking, like, every boss and every cave? Every or... boss, every cave. Nice. There's only three bosses, right? Four. Well, so I did not... No, I only have the one. Noah has the Arg Argents with the eggs. But... Okay. I do have a couple of things that you can use might help. I got this. And this. A doughy and a beaver. Can you access that bag? Yeah, I just got the stone, or some of the stone out of it. I got another bag for you. Uh, stone. Oh, wood. I gotta make. I need the. I gotta make some more. I gave you guys a bunch of metal, so you should be able to make flak when you get over there. Yeah. Okay, what am I gonna need? I'm not taming that Rex now. Let's get. Well, I'm on Scorched. I guess you don't have to worry about freezing to death here. Right? I wonder. Nope, they're not spawning here. Okay, I was thinking I wanted to set up shop next to the green ob. But how far away do I need to be for people to be able to uncryo at green up? Cryo slash uncryo.
Well, I'm not sticking around for bad weather. And we're back. Well, I need cementing paste, so I guess that's next on the list. Alright, so uh, I hate to cut that last video off, but unfortunately the rest of the footage got corrupted. And this is a server, you can't back it up, especially with other people playing on the server. That is not how that works. So, I have to go and tame what I just got done taming a couple days ago, I have to go and tame it again. And so I will, I gotta make up some more narcotics, because this thing takes a lot of narcotics to tame. And then we will get back out to that island, and I will show you guys uh, what we're taming. Give me a minute. Okay, so we are out at this island once again, next to this trap that I got set up the other day. We are ready to go. Hopefully we can find a female version. What I'm looking for. Female 130. Female 120 over there. Is that it? Okay. Take that 130. It doesn't have great damage, but it has okay-ish health. It's a little on the low side. Food and oxygen, so stinking high, man. What the heck? Alright, let's go get this thing. Where is it? So yeah, um, I am going Ultra Raptor taming. What is an Ultra Raptor? Well, um, I made my own mod. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I created a creature mod. And currently it only has one creature in it. And even this one creature isn't completely done yet. Uh, the mod's been out for like close to a month. or By the time this video goes up, I think it'll actually be uh, a month since I, I made it. And I, I've just been... You know, grinding it up and, and testing it and, and doing all kinds of stuff. And it's on its second or third version now. Um, and I, I'm okay with how it works now. Um, I tried to get a saddle working for it. I haven't got the saddle working quite yet. But we do have... Oh, come on. There we go. Yes, they are uh, identical in weight to the Thylacoleo. I made the bite hitbox slightly larger because that was a problem on raptors. And they do have a bleed inducing bite, so be careful of that. And they tame on yellow kibble. And basically they are roughly equal in power to a Thylacoleo. With their hitbox being taller, but not as wide, they fit into some caves that Thylas can't in, can't fit in. Um, so, yeah, they're basically a, a caving mount of sorts. But I just, I've always loved raptors, but base arc raptors suck. <laughs> so I made my own raptor. And um, it is just the base Raptor model now, scaled up by about 50%. And um, I had to f remap the collision on it because the uh, collision box doesn't scale with the model size. So, where is... Is it over here? Where's my trap? Oh, I bet it's down here. So anyways, yes, they can be trapped... Uh, in a box, just like a Thyla. Um, they knock out their kibble tame. Uh, they do drop prime meat. Made sure of that. Come on, please. Yes, okay. Um, I don't think they can be bullied. 
so that shouldn't work. I'm pretty sure I tested that and that doesn't work. And they have the same amount of torpor as the Thylacoleo too. So these are by no means early game tames. Uh, they also only spawn on Carnal Island, on the island. Uh, they do have spawn locations on Scorched and Aberration, uh, but because they're in specific spawn containers, they do not uh, spawn on all modded maps. So depending on what map you're playing on, uh, some of my tribe mates on one of the other servers uh, were playing on a modded map on a different cluster. And they said that even though the cluster had the same mod in it, uh, they weren't spawning over there on that mod map. Even though they were on the island, which is a part of that cluster as well. All right. Ultra Raptor down and out. So we are just going to get her tamed up now that she's asleep. And this is going to take, I think I mapped, I mapped it out at like 175 to 180 narcotics. And 30 pieces of prime meat at this level. So, uh, it's also going to take about 45 minutes on my taming rates right now. So, I'm going to be here for a little bit yet. So, what we have done here is um, I have actually let this thing sit here unconscious, and it's going to wake up, and I'm going to knock it out again. And then I will be able to uh, feed it a whole bunch of kibble and get it tamed. Heck, you could probably do it twice over. And then just insta-feed it practically. the uh, Or I don't have kibble, but uh, prime meat. Just insta-feed it the prime meat. Although, if you did kibble tame it, uh, it, it kibble tames pretty easy. It doesn't take too much kibble. There it's up. And she's down again. So yeah, you could do this even one more time. And by that point, it would be hungry enough that um, you just feed it all the prime meat it needs. But I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the prime and feed it now. And don't pick fights with Ceratosaurus. So as I go and get Prime, I think this would be a good time to tell you about what I want to do with this mod. Eventually, I'm going to have variants of the Ultra Raptor. So there will be a version of it that spawns on each map and has uh, different attributes. As of right now, there is only the base version. The Scorched Earth version that I want to make will... Uh, instead of having a Pounce, which is what the Island version will have, it's a true, true Raptor which is capable of pouncing things up to 200 drag weight, I think. So, um, like it can pounce parasaurs. Originally, it was capable of pouncing things all the way up to the size of Carnos, which Carnos are, like, still bigger than it, which looks weird when it pounces a Carno. It just doesn't look right. It doesn't look like it should be able to do that. I know, some people told me, hey, you know, people that were helping me test the mod, they're like, hey, it's cool. But, cool is one thing. It, I want it to make sense, too. Um, but, yeah, so the Scorched version, instead of having the Pounce, would uh, be able to breathe fire. And then, if I can, I would like the aberrant version to either have a cloak or be able to climb walls. I'm not sure which yet. <laughs> Climbing walls might be fun. As for the extinct variant, um, I don't know what exactly I would do for that. Where are we at? 5, 10, 15, 22. 22 prime. Pretty close. We're not quite there yet. I want to make sure I have 30 at least. 30 to 35. We need a little bit more yet. Um, and then I also have another creature that I'm going to make, which is a Titano Viper. 
the Titano Viper will be a big snake, kind of similar in size to a basilisk, and will have a bite that is highly toxic, um, which you can use to knock out tames. Like, basically anything that's not a giga kind of tames. I know you can do that with a horse. If you really level up the horse a lot, but... No, I want this thing to be, you know, basically a dedicated knockout. Ooh, that's perfect. Ten prime, thank you. Um, what other creatures am I going to add past that? Someone's asked for a bird. Um, I haven't done a flyer yet, although at one point I did make my raptor fly. That was kind of silly. That didn't make it into a testing version of the mod, but I thought it was funny. Just flying around on a raptor. Boom. Is it going to tame all the way up? I'd be interested to see if it does. No, no way. Well, it got about halfway done. So yeah, I'm going to be here for a while, and I'm gonna, still going to have to feed this thing 60 narcotics or something like that. Um, it has a pretty high torpor stat, but it does drain pretty quick, so... I would use biotoxin, but I don't have biotoxin. This is the center. I'll be in the in the water at some point. Believe you me, I will be down there some point. But yeah, so here is your Ultra Raptor, a creature that you can ride around on. When this thing wakes up, I'll show you some of its abilities. By any chance, can you give me some, like, crossbow or something? Honestly, I probably should have just used the Alpha Raptor model as a base instead of the regular Raptor model. I just don't know if the saddle is going to fit at that point, you know? Well, we have plenty of Prime now. All right, so let's throw out these Ultra Raptors here. We have Duchess, that's what I just tamed. And... Oh, this thing needs to keep growing up. There we go. It's fully imprinted, but it's still growing. And then... Oh, that's right. I put you in here. Copper. So this is an Ultra Raptor. Um, the thing may appear to glitch a little bit. It's the really low performance of the server and my computer, which is running the server at the same time, makes it worse. But it does work, and everything, for the most part, looks fine on my single-player world. But, as you can see, it is capable of pouncing pterosaurs. They don't really look like they're pounced, but it works. Bleed inducing bite, damage output slightly less than that of a Thyla. But slightly faster than a Thyla. It can't climb walls, but it does have a nice big jump. And it turns on a dime because it's a raptor. Very agile. So there you have it. One Ultra Raptor. And you can uh, angle it in the air when you jump, which is nice. They have such a big jump. 
So I'll leave a link to the mod in the description in case you want to use it yourself, single player or multiplayer. After all, I'm using it on the server right now. Um, if you have feedback on the mod itself, please uh, leave that feedback on the mod page and not in this video. I uh, want, want, the, want the comments about this video, if I get any, to be about the quality of the video itself and not about the quality of the mod. This is not a necessarily a mod showcase. But with that being said, we should be... Oh yeah, also, um, they don't breed with regular raptors. So like Kari over here could not breed with copper. I made sure that was working. And they should be able to breed with each other. There we go. So we are going to get ourselves an ultra raptor egg here. And so... As we come to the end of this video, I'll just say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really uh, like the video. I have no idea how long it's going to be. I recorded the first part like a week ago, two weeks ago, and then took a break and recorded what I was hoping would be the other half of the video, and uh, the, the footage got corrupted, so here I am again recording again. But um, yeah, I hope it was at least somewhat entertaining. Um, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when future episodes of this and my other series go up. And uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to leave a comment. You know, let me know how the video was. I, I very much appreciate it. I am looking to improve. I'm like I, I'm still kind of new to this whole thing. I mean, maybe not new to making YouTube videos, but I'm trying to work on being entertaining, being informative. And this, that, and the other thing. So, you know, it's a, it's a growing process. We're getting there. We're getting there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.